If you're looking to get your Kadena off an exchange and into a personal wallet, today I'm going to show you how to install the X wallet by Cadex. So let's take a look. I'm at the official website for the Cadex wallet, which is cadex.com. I'll make sure I link that in the description below. We're going to go up here in the top right hand corner and click on the X wallet open up another page. You can see that there's an option here to download this for your iPhone, you also your Android device, and then there's extensions for Chrome and Brave. And click on the download button over here on the right. And we're gonna be using Chrome right now. So we have this option right over here for the desktop. I'll click on that and it's gonna take me over to the Chrome Web Store. So we're gonna be adding this to Chrome and then click on add extension. And it's just been added to my browser in the top right hand corner. And I'm just gonna pin it in so it's always available when I need it. And now we're gonna start creating our wallet. So we'll click start now, and they're just letting you know that they're not gonna be collecting any of your data. Click on next. So now we have the terms of use. You can click on this link and it'll open it up and you can go ahead and read that if that interests you. Uh, once you've done that, you can check the box and then click on create new wallet. So now it's time to set a password. I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. And once you have your password entered, you can click on the create option. And there we go, we've created it. And now what you wanna do is record your recovery secret phrase. So I'm gonna select this option over here and it's gonna go through that process. So we'll click on continue and we're gonna click on this option over here to show the words. So it's 12 words that it's gonna show and you wanna make sure that you write them down. So I'll go ahead and click on that and I have mine over here so I can copy this and I can go put that in a safe place. And we have the option also to download it, which I have right over here and it saves it in a text file for you. And once you have that all saved up, you can go ahead and click on continue. And now what it wants to do is verify the recovery phrase. So we're gonna to have to go ahead and enter in all these words back in here. Okay. So now that you have them all entered in, you can go ahead and click on continue and it'll let you know that you've successfully entered it in. And then you're gonna retype in your password to sign back into the wallet. There we go, sign in and we're in. So we've just set up our wallet inside the Chrome browser. Let's take a look at some of the features. So if you've ever used a wallet like MetaMask, it's very similar. When you click on the icon up here in the top right hand corner, you have access to it. So what we're doing over here on the main screen is we're inside the extension. It's the exact same thing. And you can see up here in the top right hand corner, you have the networks that you can connect to we're going to be obviously on the main net and then the next option over here is the chain id which is chain 1 to 19 looks like uh chain 1 I believe is the one that's commonly used, especially if you're transferring from KuCoin back and forth. Uh, so you can go ahead and select that when you're transferring it. But I'd verify the chain ID before you do any transactions. Now, if you're gonna be sending on it, you just have to click on the send button. And then what you wanna do is put in, you can either scan the QR code if you have a camera connected, or you can put in the full address there. And then you select the chain ID. And once you have that selected, you can click on continue and proceed with your transaction of sending. And then if you're gonna be receiving, you click on the receive option over here, and then you get your address. So your chain ID, right now we have zero selected, um, but if you change this up here and then you go into receive, you'll see that it automatically switches the chain ID. And then this is gonna be your account name. Always make sure that you include the K. It's kind of standard, but make sure you include the K in the address, which you can just easily just click on the copy button over here and then paste it wherever, or you can just show the QR code to the person that's gonna be sending it to you. And go ahead and close that. And if you wanna add more tokens, you can click on the add more tokens in here, and then you can put in the contract address and then the symbol. If you're gonna be adding any custom tokens that rely on the Kadena network, you can go ahead and do that there. And then inside settings, you have all the standard settings for address book, the network that you're gonna be connecting to, your recovery phrase if you wanna back that up and it gives you some version information. So there you go, that is how you install the X wallet by Cadex inside the Chrome browser. This is the Chrome extension. If you have any questions, you can go ahead and put them in the comments below. If you're gonna be doing any transactions, I highly recommend doing a minimal amount to test the transaction, make sure it shows up, it's sent on one end and received on the other end, just to make sure that there is no issues before you send any bulk transactions. Kind of common knowledge, but just in case, I thought I'd mention that. And so if you have any questions, you can go ahead and put them in the comments below. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.